Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, this is day 37 of Bring Up Your Home campaign 2021. Unfortunately, our uh, first target or first milestone of having Up Your Release by 23rd September, the historic Black Day on which Up Your Siddiqui was um, sentenced to 86 years in prison in 2010 has not been met. We were requesting Prime Minister Imran Khan. We were requesting Prime Minister Imran Khan uh, that uh, this 23rd September uh, should be a good news for her and an atonement for the 23rd September 2010 if she could be released. And I am sure that uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan has the power to have Afia Siddiqui released, and he has the 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 strength of character and the boldness that he could take such a dramatic step but uh, only God knows why Prime Minister Imran Khan is not taking this step. However, the interesting thing is that say, uh, after coming here for about a month and a few days more, uh, we find that two groups have taken a permanent position in front of the press club Islamabad. One is us, we may be few, but I think that doesn't matter. It's not the numbers, but it's the cause that is important and it's the the passion and the intention of the people who are coming even a few numbers but they are coming we are coming every day and inshallah we'll keep coming so this other group you see over here uh, this is uh, the protest by those people by the 16,000 employees who have been dismissed from their jobs and they have also taken a permanent position over here whenever we come they are here and whenever they come we are here the good news is that uh, another group is about to join us. Another group who is also a very grieved faction of the society and has been on the roads for a very long time. Uh, since the infamous 9-11 incident, you can say, Afi Siddiqui is also a victim of that. And uh, with these groups coming here or perhaps somewhere else in Islamabad, I think that the strength of the protest is growing. And inshallah, uh, we will protest with all our passion, with all our might. And we will keep contacting people higher up there who have the power to bring Afia back and to resolve all of these other issues for which people are out. And inshallah, we will get justice. In the case of Af Afia, justice seems like a very small word. Like if you say that, uh, Afia has faced injustice that seems like a joke. Afia has faced, I think her name will go down in history, rather go up in history, as a case study of injustice, oppression, cruelty, hard-heartedness. Um, I, I think we can come up with all the uh, synonyms in the um, a thesaurus equating to oppression that Afia has faced. Uh, it's really a very, very strange case. A woman, a, an educated woman, an enlightened woman, woman with religious knowledge, relig woman with uh, contemporary education, three children, young children, compassionate, working for all kinds of humanitarian causes, helping people left and right, Muslims and non-Muslims, and she ends up being put in jail herself. Perhaps that was the very um, compassion and passion that some people did not like, and for that she was imprisoned. Plus, she was about to, be, about to build a educational city in Karachi, Pakistan, a, a caliber that people would stop going out from Pakistan to for higher studies, for school studies and higher studies, but people would rather like to come to Pakistan for academics. So she was trying to stop the brain drain from Pakistan to the foreign land, but it ended up the other way around that she herself, the great brains of Pakistan, she became, she ended up being a brain drain in the uh, the, 
the imprisonment facility in Texas, America. So we need to get her brains out of there and back in Pakistan. And inshallah, we will.